Hey, what's up guys? This is your coach, friend, and mentor, Scotty Hobbs. We're here in Indianapolis for the annual Coach Summit where there's going to be over 25,000 of us here working out with uh, many of the celebrity trainers you guys might have heard of, like Tony Horton, Shanti, Autumn Calabrese, Joel Freeman, Sagi Kalev, and the rest of the crew. So. Uh, the event doesn't officially start until Thursday evening with the opening ceremony, but we arrived here yesterday. Uh, Gabby and I got here, uh, <laughs> took a, an amazing nap, and then went out and met for dinner with some members of our team, uh, Sean, uh, who we've been looking forward to seeing up in Canada. And then the coolest thing is I was, as I woke up from that nap, I went to do my workout for the day because I didn't get it in in the morning before our flight. And there were three uh, women in the gym who recognized me as I came in, and they're a part of our team. They were brought into this company by other members of our team that I've helped mentor and bring into this uh, great, amazing opportunity. So we invited them to dinner with us as well, so it was great to meet them. And that's one of the coolest things about this company is how you build and meet friends throughout the entire country. And we come together on, on these events, whether it's this annual Coach Summit, which is mainly celebration, uh, as well as training and workshops. We meet at Success Club Trips, which was in Mexico a few months ago, and then there's leadership events in the fall. So I absolutely love it, but I wanna talk briefly with you guys about, uh, and stay tuned to this channel or my Instagram stories to see what we do day by day while we're here, so you can experience that and see what that's like. But one thing that I wanna talk about just briefly is goals. It's so important throughout your entire life that you have uh, not only business goals, but family goals, life goals, self-development goals. And one thing that I see so often in people is that you're going, whenever you have goals and you have to grow into a better or bigger or greater version of yourself, you're gonna meet resistance. And I see so many people back off from that resistance because they want to uh, be in a comfort zone. They wanna be in a place that feels safe, that's not, uh, added stress on them or their mind and they stay in that place or when they hit that you know they get so close to hitting a goal and they meet that resistance and they step back into their comfort zone but one thing that I want you guys to know if you want to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve you have to grow into that you have to meet the resistance overcome the resistance by becoming stronger yourself and that's that's how you hit the goal and I talk to people all the time about their goals and, and let's say your goal is to pay off your home or it's to have to look good in a bikini or whatever it is you you have that goal so often we have inner conflict as well as is this a noble goal is this something that i could put out to the world or is this something just vain like to look good in a swimsuit or to have more money to pay off your home or your school debt or whatever it is and what i want you guys to know is to, to be able to let's just talk briefly about i want to look good in a bikini on the surface level that could look like okay it's about vanity, you wanna just look good, for what reasons you wanna look good and whatnot. But the thing I want you to understand about that goal, for example, in order to hit that goal, it's a much deeper concept and a much deeper growth that has to happen because in order to do that, you have to grow emotionally and mentally to the place where you're not emotionally eating, where you're um, growing your mindset and your, your belief in yourself and overcoming uh, any sort of self-doubt, limiting beliefs, any sort of, like I said, addiction, whether it be to sugars or anything else, you have to overcome that. So although the end result of that goal is to look good in a bikini or in a swimsuit, there's actually a much deeper level of a transformation that has to happen, which in turn makes you a better person, a more self-disciplined person, a more self-loving person. So I want you guys to think about that. Every goal that you set has to have a deeper, there's gonna be a deeper meaning behind the growth that has to happen to hit that goal. But then also remember that you're gonna hit resistance on that journey and the resistance is a necessary part of it. It's gonna suck a lot of times moving towards your goals because you're constantly pushing against that resistance and you have to grow through that and become stronger through that process. So hope that helps you guys out. Look. I look forward to continuing with you guys on this journey. Subscribe to this channel. Watch our Instagram stories to see what it's like to be a part of Team Beachbody as a coach, to help people, to transform ourselves, and live that life. I love you guys. Have an incredible day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.